Hey guys, Matt here from Generator Mart. And in our last video, we talked about doing some winterizing maintenance for your portable generator. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to do the same for your standbys. Now, the main difference between your portable generators and a standby like the one in front of me is that with your portables, you might put it into long-term storage or you might use it through the winter. But with a standby like this, you need to make sure it's ready to run at all times because this is going to be permanently hooked up to your house and needs to be ready to go whenever the power does shut off. So one of the easiest things you can do as a homeowner, but also one of the most important, is making sure that the sides of these generators are clean of any sort of debris, maybe it's a snow buildup, but anything like that that can disrupt the airflow needs to be kept clear of the generator. Most of these are gonna be air-cooled machines, which means that the channels for the air to get through are the lifeblood of the product. Making sure they're clean can make sure this machine runs healthy and that you get the most lifespan out of your generator. Another big part of getting these standbys through winter is that you do need to take the weather into consideration. Now, most of your major brands such as Cummins, Kohler, and Generac will keep their generators in a state where they will be good in running down to about zero degrees Fahrenheit. But if you do live in a section of the country or a section of the world that gets below that regularly, you'll really wanna look into something like a cold weather kit. Now Cummins does do the best job of this because you can actually buy it directly from factory with their RS20 ACE package. But with other brands like Kohler and Generac, it's usually an add-on that includes something like a block heater, possibly a battery heater, and maybe an external oil warmer. And lastly, with these standbys, just like your portables, regular maintenance is imperative. The nice thing about maintenancing these generators over a portable is that most major manufacturers will have a way where you can schedule maintenance with them or just with a local electrician where you bring somebody out at scheduled periods and they do the maintenance for you. If you don't wanna go that route, you can get maintenance kits for these just like you can get for the portables. Actually right here, I've got the one from Cummins that's good for their 17 and 20 kW machines. Just like the portables as well, these generators are going to come with an owner's manual which will have a full maintenance schedule in them. And with that maintenance schedule, you're gonna to wanna to follow it to a T because doing so is just how you make sure these machines are always happy, healthy, ready to go. And if you do start to fall behind on them, that's when issues can start to arise which impact not only the longevity of the machine but how much power it can produce and just how efficiently it runs. And just like before guys, if you are interested in any of the stuff we talked about here today, whether it's the cold weather kits, whether it's the maintenance kits, or the VP Racing product over here, we've got it all over on our website at generatormart.com. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave us a phone call, shoot us an email, or even just come by our shop Monday to Friday and give us a holler. We'd love to help you out. We always love helping people out. And if you need anything, we're always here for you. Other than that, we'll see you over at generatormart.com.